More, uh, more control. Good. Keep that shoulder down. What is going on crack addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors, some of the most loved ones and most well-known on YouTube. So that's what you're gonna be seeing in today's video with some new additions also. All of their links will be in the description. That's where you can check them out directly. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to the channel and make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss any content from the channel. Now let's get into it and I'll see you on the next one. Next up, we have Dr. Alex Tubio. Like, okay. like my posture is like this or something. So like when I do push-ups, you'll see it more prominently where one pushes up more than the other. Is there any pain when you do that? Just a stretching. Okay, good. Go face down now. What okay, I want to do is I want you to keep this leg straight okay. and then lift the leg off off the table. The left leg? Yep, the left one. Good. Do the other side. Ooh. Which side's harder? The right side. The right side? It seemed like the right side was harder. So we're gonna adjust in here first, okay? Getting right into this lower junction here. So take a deep breath in and exhale out. Good, let your shoulders relax. That's perfect. Good. Ow. <laughs> so hold right here. Okay, we're gonna be doing this side. Kind of like we do with him. You all right? Yeah. You sure? Okay. <laughs> we're gonna push right here. I'm scared. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. All right, so take a deep breath in and let your air out. Good, let your shoulders roll over more. That's it. So don't, no. <laughs> it's already, it's already moving. <laughs> no. All right, close your eyes. Good. Oh my God. <laughs> That's good right there. Um, so keep this bottom like straight. Yeah. <laughs> this is the hip thing. Yeah. This good is point. the hip thing. <laughs> and then uh, you're gonna interlock your fingers like this first. There you go. And let your head relax down. Yes. So we gotta see how much flexibility you have. Which is a lot. Down. That's it. Good. You alright? So we gotta open this up a little bit more. Good. Open this no, no, no. I'm gonna open it up. Oh. Yep. I just have to let that hang down. That's good. So I want you to take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Good. Relax your stomach a little bit more. And then close your eyes there. Here. Here. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love that one! <laughs> That's it. You're gonna let your leg hang off. Oh. Just like that again. Good. So lift that. Keep your eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> They're just gonna turn your head. There you go. Try to relax this trap. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming every time you told me to close my eyes. I'm like, control. Have your head. Good. Let this draw. Give me more. That's more control. Well, I mean, like, just give me more, uh, more control. Good. Keep that shoulder down. Oh! Is it going to like snap my neck? It's like just yeah. give me full control. 
<laughs> Move it to the right. It's better. How does that feel? Good. Good. Lay on your back now. And let's go all the way down. So my uh, legs off? Yep. <gasps> oh no, not this one. <laughs> this is a scary one. <laughs> no, this is a great one. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Let your neck go a little bit more. So. You know, try to picture your chest expanding and your neck expanding a little bit. And then when you can do that, you feel like you're relaxing. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, what the fuck? I want to right. touch my 360. Good, they feel a lot looser. Do you feel that? Yeah. Good, look all the way to the left. Good, look all the way to the right. That's better, so mm -hmm. you can pull your chin out a little bit more there. Am I an owl yet? Yeah. Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. All right, well, let's start with the low back adjustment on that left hip bone. Let's have you on your side facing me this way, please, like you're sleeping. So after an injury, scar tissue always forms, and it's so important that we realign things just like this, like you talked about, so the tissues can heal correctly. I'm bend that top leg. We'll keep that bottom one straight, good. And then I'm gonna cross your arms here. And roll you toward me a little push at the end of there. Soften your body. Good. <laughs> All right. Also good. And let's have you go face down one more time, please. So it moved really nice. So it was in her uh, advantage being in here sooner rather than later. And now that the legs are even, that's what we want. And when we bring them up here, we got that same thing. We're even. And then that motion. Yeah, it feels better to it feels tender. Yeah, and that's the best thing there. So here through the mid back, and we're gonna be light here, this area. And as I saw in the x-ray, it was uh, one of the areas that was impacted the most. So we've been really light and starting really light with it before we go into anything like what we just did in the low back. So you're going to feel the table pop up from underneath you, Rachel. And then it's going to fall down. Good. So with the drop table, is what this is called, it's just using gravity to assist with the adjustment. We're not gonna hear a cracking or a popping, but really when we restore that motion to the joint, we restore that signal from the brain to the body, not only impacting the way that this feels, but also the way the body functions. There we go. Yeah, and then right there. If we could rename this spot, this would be the tech spot. Because mm -hmm. when we look down, that's what gets us the most. Right there. I'm gonna roll your head to this side. A little push there. Mm -hmm. Good. And then let's have you sit up, please. And we're gonna do this. So seen that motion earlier, but I'm gonna yeah. re-feel the same motion. And up top here on the right side, which are right there, yeah, is where, what does it feel like to you when I'm putting uh, my finger in there? Tenderness, like mm -hmm. there's like tension and I feel like it needs like massaged out. And it's not moving also. Right. And this is where so many people will try to pop their own neck to release the pressure that's there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this and a correction on the exact bone. And this is the atlas that we're moving, the top bone right there. It's right underneath here and it's very light. And this is great for people that are afraid of a neck adjustment or that don't like a popping or cracking. That's why we have light techniques. In there. As long as I made that correction just right, the muscle tone will immediately change and it has. And that motion, when we come back to it, is so much better. So what's the difference there on your end from your perspective? <laughs> um, it almost feels like a, I don't know, um, like a rubber band or something like um, like releasing, like it was being pulled really far and then now it's just like the tension's eased. And that's a perfect way to put it. You're gonna be checking your feet, just being so into athletics. 
So let's have you lie on your back for me, please. And have you ever had any foot injuries? Uh, yeah, I see that big scar. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they didn't want to stitch it because it would, since I was learning how to walk, it would affect the way that I walked if the skin was healing, like stitched that way or sutured. So they just came by and they wrapped it every morning, but it is like, I have to moisturize it multiple times a day or else it will like crack because it's so... And yeah. how long? It was at the, that was the same accident? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. And did they do anything uh, with the foot as far as inserting any hardware into it? Nope. Okay. And is it sensitive out here on the side to uh, touch? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, well, I, have, I have very ticklish feet okay. <laughs> as a whole. Okay. But yes, it, that's scar tissue is sensitive. Okay. So I'm going to be really light around it and not do anything too close to it that will agitate it, okay? Yeah, bottom feels good. So right there, though, you feel how oh, yeah. tense that is under your foot? Yeah. And that's where most people get cramps also. And what's happening is this... Yeah has dropped down. There's actually three arches of the foot. We only think of the foot as being one arch, but there's three arches of the foot. And when the bones are out of position and stop moving, it influences or impacts the arches. So a lot of times, once we start working with feet, even people redevelop the arch. But yeah, right there. Yeah. And that's... Yeah, definitely feel that. Yeah. And again, with this, I, I like to start light and then go in with more pressure. So I'm going to use a similar instrument where you felt the tap on your neck. It's slightly different, but you're going to feel it right here where my thumb is on your foot. Okay. Does not. It does not move up there, but then behind that, it needs to come down actually on the outside right there. I'm going to pull your foot slightly toward me. Good. And depending on a joint, if it's been through a lot of trauma, we're not going to hear like a loud pop to it. That's not the goal here, even though YouTube might disagree. <laughs> That's okay though. They'll forgive us. Okay, good. And then we're going to bring the foot into this position, roll it back, and then add that motion in. And then under the big toe also, there's a ton of pressure right there. Yeah. So heels especially, when you wear heels, it puts so much pressure on this joint we call it the first metatarsal. And that's where a lot of times bunions will come from or just pain right there. Not for you. Yeah. And then we're gonna be on a couple more of these on the top. I'm on the metatarsals right now for the nerds on YouTube that are wondering, but it's okay, I'm a nerd too. We get some comments from people saying, you shouldn't call us nerds. I said, come on, but I'm a nerd too. <laughs> there we go. And then on this foot, Rachel, it feels a lot different. Okay. So I'm going to do more by hand actually on this foot. There. Yeah. Can you feel the difference how it moves yeah. even? Oh. It is a lot more flexible, exactly. But slow and steady wins the race. So we can't add all that motion back into your right foot in one day. Okay. And same with your spine. As we add flexibility and motion into your spine and the areas that are stuck, we can't do it all in one day. Yeah, and same in the middle of the foot here. It's really stuck. There we go. But that actually moved. Okay. And then the heel. There, same as that. And I'm going to be under the big toe again, but with the instrument, because that one tends to not feel so great. Good. And then we got a couple more. The metatarsals. Again, the midfoot. And I'm saying some names because we're on camera for people that might want to know Rachel, but these all have funny names, but as long yeah. as the only thing that matters is that we get them moving. <laughs> and we are. <laughs> there. And that's good too. Okay. I want to come back to this arch and we can do one more small thing to it. And then we'll have you walk here. Okay. Perfect. If we could have you just stand up even, and we're going to have you take a few steps around the room here. And let me see how that feels, if that feels any different walking on your feet. Yeah, it feels just, I just feel it like lighter. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.